Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. Today we have the 2020 electoral map based off voting history in each state. So essentially, for example, we'll take the state of Indiana has voted more Republican than Democratic in all of its recent elections. Um, you know, obviously they have voted Democratic sometimes, but typically most of their elections they've gone to the Republican side. So that one would land on the Republican column. For the case of the Democrats, uh, we go over to D.C., never voted for a Republican, would land in the Democratic column based off that. So what we're looking at is actually a pretty interesting map. Um, there are some states you might not expect to be Republican and many states you might not expect to be Democratic. Uh, but overall, we pretty much finish off the map. Um, I haven't actually seen the electoral vote map. I've only seen the map itself. So it's pretty interesting to say the least. We're going to start off. This was supposed to be in alphabetical order, but I kind of messed it up going down so we'll start off with the state of alabama let's hope we don't have the yeah so that's perfect um no states tied by the way there were some states that were decided by one to two elections so that was pretty interesting for me but um right now we're just looking at the majority of i guess the majority party that won the state the most amount of times and of course there were previous elections where uh, there were other political parties but i didn't factor those in at all i just did democratic and republican party so uh, the Democratic and Republican Party. We have Alabama. That one goes blue. Pretty interesting to see Alabama blue after a while, like the Senate race that we saw a couple uh, months ago, actually about like six months ago. Uh, we go over to Alaska. That one goes red. Not really been a state as long as some of the other states. Arkansas goes blue, which is pretty interesting. Look at the south, by the way. That's some area. That's an area you might want to focus on uh, just to see voting history and things like that because the south is pretty blue compared to where it is now. So that's something that's pretty interesting uh, to look at. Delaware, that one goes blue. I believe this is Delaware. Yep, Delaware goes blue. Um, but Arizona, one of the more uh, swing states in 2016, probably 2020, going red. Here's a big one. California goes red. Um, voted more with the Republican Party than the Democratic Party, which is pretty uh, crazy to see. But we're going to see a very messed up electoral map. Florida goes blue. Uh, Georgia, along with Florida, goes blue as well. But Colorado and Connecticut... Um, that is Connecticut. Yes, it is. Uh, goes red. And then we go over to Idaho. Not that um, crazy seeing Idaho go uh, red, just like the same thing as seeing Hawaii go blue. Pretty similar. The District of Columbia goes blue, um, as expected, for obvious reasons. It's always blue. I never voted for a Republican, the only part of the country that's like that. Indiana does go red um, into, of course, the Republican column. Illinois narrowly goes blue, I believe, by one to two elections. It was very close. Kentucky also goes to the Democrats. Um, but Iowa and Kansas go to the Republican Party. So looking at our electoral map, we have 98 votes for the Democrats and 112 for Donald Trump. Um, obviously, this is not how the 2020 election would turn out. It's just pretty interesting to look at uh, the 2020 electoral map just based off voting history. Louisiana, that one does go to the Democratic column. Keep in mind, focusing on the South, a lot of Democratic states here. Um, as of right now, we're looking at uh, the state of Maine. That one does go to the Republican side by a considerable amount. I think it was like 30 to 9 um, Republican votes and 9 times going for the Democrats. So that was pretty interesting. Massachusetts goes red by one election. Very interesting. My state of Maryland, as expected, goes in the Democratic column along with the state of Minnesota, which hasn't gone Republican since 1972. Uh, Missouri is another Democratic state up across Abe Lincoln. Um, Missouri goes blue. But the state of Michigan goes red. That's pretty interesting. We haven't seen that in a while. The state of New Hampshire goes red. Pretty much the Northeast held very Republican tendencies, obviously, because the Republican Party and the Democratic Party pretty much switched between the voting groups. Um, the South switched red, as we see now. The Northeast switched blue. So it's pretty interesting to see that. Uh, the state of Mississippi goes blue. New Jersey goes blue. And New Mexico goes blue. So we finished three states there, putting the Democrats over Donald Trump at 161 electoral votes. But Nevada goes red. Nebraska goes red. And the state of Montana goes red. So that finishes off a couple more Republican states, tying up the electoral map again at 161 for the Democrats and 161 for Donald Trump. North Dakota goes to the Republicans. Ohio, this is a big one, goes to the Republicans. And so does South Dakota. Now we're going to go over to a couple more Democratic states, New York, go goes to the Democrats, North Carolina and South Carolina go to the Democratic Party. So another three states out, but we have filled in most of the South. And you can see it is very blue compared to other parts of the country. Um, Pennsylvania and Oregon go red. So Pennsylvania, Oregon and Oklahoma, those states are red states. 
Utah also goes red, along with the state of Vermont. Vermont is actually the most Republican state based off voting history. That's a very interesting thing uh, to point out. Uh, Rhode Island go does go blue, along with the state of Tennessee, pretty much solidifying most of the Confederate South. We're going to get to Virginia pretty soon. And Texas, that state goes blue. So Texas going blue, you know, puts the Democrats ahead at 267 electoral votes to Donald Trump at 228. Um, the state of Wisconsin goes red. Pretty interesting. Uh, Wyoming also goes red. And now the rest of the states are Democratic states. Washington goes to the Democrats. West Virginia and Virginia go to the Democratic Party. And this electoral map, in terms of the electoral vote, doesn't seem to, you know, unrealistic. We've seen multiple predictions where the Democrats reach 297 or 298, depending on a few congressional districts, and Donald Trump at 241 or 240. So the electoral vote map looks pretty similar, but what we're seeing here, this actually looks somewhat like the Jimmy Carter map, um, but it's pretty interesting to see the Democrats winning in the South and the Republicans winning in the Rust Belt. Not too unheard of, but in the Northeast, which is a pretty unheard of, and in California and Oregon. So this electoral map does look like something we've seen before, um, but obviously not an exact replication of what we've saw, what we've seen, but still, it looks pretty interesting to say the least. Thank you guys for watching this video. Comment down suggestions below, and I will see you all tomorrow.